What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Uh, today we're doing some zombie mods and uh, modded lobbies. All right, guys, so here we are. Call of Duty World at War, uh, one of the greatest games I believe has ever been made. Uh, it has spawned s a, such a large modding community for, um, you know, Nazi zombies and whatnot, uh, which was all the rage back in the day. Still is, actually. Um, so we're going to have some fun with that. We're going to dive right into it here. All right, guys, here we are. Uh, throwback to uh, the good old Nazi zombies on Nocter and Toten. Um, this game has spawned such a large uh, modding community dedicated to this game mode right here um, that has still continued um, even into the modern Call of Duty games. Uh, mostly on PC though, of course. Um, so we're going to have some fun with some zombie mods first. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go no clip. And we're going to get out of the map. This is what Nocturne Toad looks like from the outside. The tunnel is back here. Inside the wall. This is a spawn point right here for zombies. But of course, if you go in here, you see a ceiling, but if you go up here, all of that is now gone. So it's it's pretty cool how um, it's pretty cool how they kind of trick you like when you're in these environments. Um, oh yeah, so the zombies die kind of just randomly uh, if they don't have anything to attack. Give all. Uh, this is one of the basic mods that you can do in pretty much any game. Uh, you can freaking here you scroll through the weapons here. scroll through the weapons uh there is another weird weapon somewhere where is it it's right around here oh wait <laughs> there okay so i don't know why this was in why this was included this was just thrown in there by the devs or something to kind of just have fun with um you could you yourself can become a zombie i guess uh where's the attack oh yeah you can only melee uh the knife. Oh yeah, the B button is the knife button. So yeah, you could uh, kind of just go around and hit, hit, hit zombies. And it makes the knife sound effect, which is I mean, nothing you can do about it. <laughs> God, this looks weird. This looks weird from the other side. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna... I'm gonna rebuild the barrier from the outside. <laughs> so this is what it feels like. Okay, so now let's say we want to turn on, uh, turn up the gravity rather. Um, we're gonna do G gravity, um, which originally was set to 800. Um, I think I put it down a little more. So we're gonna change it to. Uh, 300 and see what that does and now we're floating upwards <laughs> okay i better turn that off before i float up too far okay so now that the gravity is back down we're gonna do uh okay so we can change the sprint speed scale five because why not Oh, God. Got out of there quick. Yeah, there's a there's a grenade launching uh, Colt. There we go. <laughs> Another little cool uh, mod you could do here is uh, CG Force. On, I have no idea why they included this. Uh, this I, I'm pretty sure this was left in. Because um, this is IW Engine, which was also used for uh, Call of Duty 4, so you could put on laser sights in World War II, which makes total sense, right? But um, yeah, cool stuff. Everything gets it, even your dick. <laughs> 
All right, guys, so um, we're going to back out of that, and we're going to go into uh, the crazier stuff now. That was just some of the basics um, that I've, you know, that I, that I pretty much started learning with. Um, but uh, now we're going to go into here, which is your mods. Um, yeah, right here, when you download a bunch of mods, uh, they will all show up here pretty much, and you just click on the one, and we're going to use, this is a mod menu, uh, pretty much the most infamous mod modding menu. Um that is pretty much on the web right now with Call of Duty. Uh, it's literally everything um, from, you know, scripts to to modded lobbies and uh, s literally spawnables and forge. Like, you wouldn't even believe the shit that's in this. Um, so we're going to hop into Elasticity and relaunch the game with that mod. Okay, so if you notice on uh, the left side of my screen, I have all these prompts coming up. Um, so what we're gonna do? Instructions. Um, okay. So uh, what it means by unbound and the knife button is your unbound is usually your aiming button. So um, on the port for this for Xbox 360, um, what you would do is you would hold your aim button and hit the knife button. And notice how it keeps scrolling through. That's because I'm aiming still. Because when you click your right mouse, you auto aim on PC. Yeah, we're gonna do basic scripts. Uh, let's see here. Um, God mode, we already have that on. Boom, give all weapons. We could do, well, we're already in no clip and UF mode. They're the same, they're the same thing. Uh, third person, we could switch to uh, no target. So I'm gonna put that on. And basically, now the zombies should not target me. I believe uh, so let's test that out and as you can see the zombies do not even know I'm fucking here uh, yeah this is also another weird weapon I don't know why this is in here uh, it's called the default weapon it's also in Call of Duty 4 human fountain let's see what this shit is <laughs> oh shit wait I'm in torch what's this okay so we're on fire rotates oh god Yes. <laughs> Auto tea bag. <laughs> I wonder what drunk mode is. Oh. <laughs> so you just keep drinking perk colas. <laughs> Whoa! Shit. <laughs> oh my god, what? What's this lightning strike? Whoa! Okay, so in here, let's see, it looks like we can spawn a zombie. Uh, da, da, da. Yes, we can spawn zombies. And we can spawn hellhounds, pretty cool. I wonder what this is. Oh god, okay, so I looks like, it looks like that just kind of nukes all of them. Uh, let's look at three zombies. And okay, zombies are frozen in place. Do you see that? Like this zombie's like walking. <laughs> the zombie's like walking in place, like he has a gun. Jump to round. Let's see this. Um, oh, uh, so let's advance to round thirteen. <laughs> well, that's fucking cheap. Um, and it looks like there's a lot of other stuff in here you could do, too. There's also anti-cheat and all this other shit. Um, so if you really wanted... Uh, if you really wanted that much manipulation over a server or, you know, a game, you could you could probably do it with this. Like, this is just... it's There's so much crap you can do with it. Uh, so here's where it gets interesting. Um, when we go in here, uh, there's... Here, I'm gonna... So... so <laughs> <laughs> so this is, I'm not lying, I don't know how they did this, but... <laughs> it's like a flying car shit. Wait, unbound, fire patriot missile. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, let's check out precision airstrike. Oh god, this is awesome. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh my god, that is awesome. <laughs> a 
Okay, so now this is where it kind of gets interesting. Uh, I, it's, uh... So, yes, you're... You're seeing this right. You are absolutely seeing this right. Uh, I couldn't believe it myself, but, um... Here we go, watch this. We're gonna spawn a Ferris wheel. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> so it looks like they took all like the mystery the mystery box door uh spawnable and they and barrels and they just kind of made this giant weird fucking thing out of it. Whoa! Holy shit. Wait. Oh my god. This is incredible. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh my god! Like, what? <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh god, wow. <laughs> oh. Look. <laughs> Wait, that's great. That is actually great. Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a teddy bear with a perfect coat? Wait. Whoa! Whoa! Wait. Do you see all the mystery boxes? Wait, what? <laughs> Rocket sniper acquired. What's this? Let's see here. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, but how do I get there? <laughs> that's the real question. It's there. But how do I get there? Okay, so here we are. In <laughs> oh wait, they have auto turrets and everything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome. Whoa! Oh my god. This is why it's the most infamous mod menu on the web right now. I... <laughs> oh my god. All right, so we're going to go into Verook now, and we're going to try to launch a, a mod server. Ah, here we go. Start that up. Uh, I'm going to be the admin. Whoa! Okay, it's been a it's, <laughs> it's been a while since I've done one of these. So guys, when you're doing a modded lobby, um, you're gonna notice obviously the points in the the bottom right corner uh, turn to this weird changing chroma color thing, and uh, you get maxed out. Everything opens up, everything turns on at the same time. Um, if I didn't modify the movement speed and the gravity before, it would have automatically done that for me. Um, as part of the game type. I am now the admin of this mod lobby. Okay, so now we're outside the map. Welcome. Okay, so now, uh... There's a small backstory to this, actually. I remember, uh, when this map first came out, there was a legend that there was, uh... There was a turret inside of this fountain. Yeah, see, there actually is a turret inside of this fountain. It doesn't do anything, but uh, it's there. Uh, let's see the spawn. Oh god, I just started randomly rising. Twister, spawn that fucker here. Oh god, whoa.
All right, guys. So um, that's some of the basics uh, that you can do with um, just the console and um, the mod menus and stuff. Uh, but next time, I'm going to start getting into uh, custom maps and whatnot. And uh, there's some pretty funny ones, actually, that you can find. Um, there's a huge online community for this. Uh, they have, what, there's uh, ModDB, there's ZombieMods.com. Um, lots of great maps. Uh, you actually have to download um, a specific file, which I'm going to go over in the, the next Call of Duty video, um, that you need to run uh, the maps because they get progressively larger. Yes, they get larger than that um, uh, as you kind of go on through the years up from 2009 to all the way up to now. Um, they have grown in ridiculous amounts of sizes. And um, you, if you just do a quick YouTube uh, search, you could find like giant sky mazes and, and whatnot. And it, it's gotten pretty crazy. So um, yeah, thank you guys. And uh, we'll see you next time.